Friday. Yes, yes it is. Five o'clock would hurry up and get here. Life would be much better today, the way it's already started. That's okay. We'll get to five o'clock, and then if everybody just hit pause on their clocks, and we can all just slow down a little bit. I know, I wish we could have another one of them three or four day weekends, that'd be nice. I love the weekends like that, but man, does it make it rough trying to come back. I mean, this is what, our second week back since we, uh, the the holiday, we took that week off, and yep. we still, we're just like, whew. <laughs> it's tough, man. We always work five days. Well, I think the part of the problem is, too, the heat this week has been relentless. It's, it's uh, hurry up, try to get out of the heat. Now you're dodging a storm. Well, now it's storming and and hot, and it's like, oh. Mm -hmm. I know it was so hot yesterday, I mowed my grass, and I was sweating, and I looked like I got out of the shower, <laughs> and I had my clothes on when I took a shower. It was that bad. Uh, I think it was last weekend. It was, yeah, it was last uh, Sunday. I got up about six o'clock and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to read it right quick. About three hours, I'll be done. No, I think she, you come outside about what time? Eight o'clock? It looked like I done just jumped mm -hmm. in the pool and got out. Well, it was so hot and humid yesterday, like your sweat wouldn't even evaporate. That's what was the bad part. Yeah. It's terrible. I think by like 10.30, I'd done, I, it, my shirt was drying because I had no more sweat to sweat. So <laughs> I did not get done weed eating in three hours. It did not turn out good. That's bad too when you quit sweating. Man, Man you done got too hot. I think I saw somewhere, I did a research where you actually get more production done on a four day work week. Like, Yeah, I don't doubt it because you're yeah. not burnt smooth out. But I don't know what day I'd rather have off, Friday or Monday. That's, that's the hard one. I think I'd rather have off Monday. Let's just take off both. Let's do a three-day work week. It's go. got to be better. Man, you got these things displayed cool looking here with the... So... Is that like a new boot that y'all got? That is on? not... Well, <laughs> that's not a oh, new boot. Oh, it's a... Uh, that is actually some uh, face masks that we had left over. Uh, I couldn't think of a better way to use a face mask than right there. Right. Uh, that was her idea. Uh, Keep them from getting scratched. That's up. just it. Uh... Well, it looks it, good. I thought it was uh, like a neoprene cover right. or something for them. I like it, but uh, they get scratched up, dirty, everything else. So she put those on there. It's working really well. Everybody likes it. Brings a little attention to it. So, Well, I'll tell you what. That, I'm not a huge purple fan. I know there are a lot of people that are. I prefer the blue, but that purple impact looks good. It, it does. Yeah, it, it stands out. I like it. Yeah. That's the best way to use a face mask right there I've ever seen. <laughs> this week, we're gonna talk about the Max Light A. Okay. Uh, it is the Android-based uh, tablet. This is our step down between the, um, the Max Flex Pro, and then there is the CRP that we carry that's below this one. So it's kind of in the middle. Okay. Uh, it's when you want to be able to have the opportunity to do more than just look at the code, mm -hmm. but you don't want um, the full capability of like a, a Max uh, Pro all the time, Max Flex Pro all the time. You know, those, the Max Flex Pros, they're anywhere from 45 to 5 when you fully unlock them. You can't, you don't have to fully unlock them, so you have the capability of paying as you go on it. But the scanner itself is still higher than this one. This one here, you can actually use it as a generic OBD with, uh, it'll have some live stream data and stuff too without paying anything other than just for the scanner. The good thing about this one is, if you primarily work on, say, Ford, you can buy the yearly uh, subscription of Ford. It is a reoccurring subscription, so every month it would update. Uh, but let's say all of a sudden you have, you know, a Chevrolet come in. You don't hardly ever work on Chevrolet. I think it's not. Uh, I looked at it yesterday. I think nineteen dollars, and you have the Chevrolet subscription for a month. Wow. Uh, I believe it's nineteen dollars. It may have been. It's between nineteen and thirty. Okay. But if you do the uh, 
yearly, I think it goes down to like $16 a month. So it depends on how many months you have. They have a one month, three month, I think six month and 12. So you pick which one you want. Either way, 30 bucks to scan one vehicle. I'd rather do that than have to pay for the whole subscription and not need it, not ever use it. So is that gonna give you the ability to like regen one if you got a Cummins that comes in and you need to change a death heater and force a regen, will that do that? Or is it, it does, more so just for It records? does, no, this one does, uh, when you unlock it like that, when you go in and, and redo it, it actually does the, uh, it shows here all the stuff it does. It does have the DPF, reset DPF. It does have the ABS. The big thing is this transport mode. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't get caught up in that transport mode. BMW is bad about when you change the battery, it revolves back into the transport mode. And what ends up happening is the air's on high, the radio don't work, several just odding in things. So be able to take it out. Then you've got your injector programming. That's pretty big as well. Right. And of course, you know, just random stuff here and there. But yeah, when you uh, when you pay that subscription to get the factory uh, abilities, you know, special tests and stuff like special functions and stuff like that, that's when your regen's allowed and everything like that. So okay, the shop we sold it to yesterday, um, they use the live data and the generic OBD a lot. They had bought an Altel, they weren't really happy with it. So we went ahead, registered this one, let them try it. They loved it, they bought it. Um, they're not gonna buy the subscription until they need it, and yeah. then they're gonna buy it. Because they work on a little bit of Just this, a little bit of that. Little month to month on what they need. Month to month. I have some people that actually do the um, top five, as they call it, you know, Ford, Chevrolet, Toyota. Mm -hmm. and, you know, put, put your make in there, whatever you work on the most. Depending on where you live in the United States, everything changes, you know. We don't really have uh, a, a BMW dealer around here, so you don't see a whole lot of those. Um, you're gonna see a lot of Lexus, you're gonna see a lot of Toyotas, a lot of Ford, Chevrolet. That's probably what I'd buy if I sure. if I had it here. Um, but it does have, it looks a lot like the Max Flex when you uh, get into the software. It has a lot of the similarities, anybody that has one would be able to tell it right out of the box. We'll cut it on and I'll show you. Here, just put that over there. That's a nice size. It's a nice size, it is touch screen. You know, that's the only thing about the scanners as they get bigger and bigger and bigger, they get more bulky. Mm -hmm. uh, like the Max 4, I love the Max 4. I use but my it's, demo it's a, a lot. Monster. But it come with a <laughs> steering wheel holder on the back of it. And when I first saw it, I was like, why in the world do you need a steering wheel holder? because yeah. I'm used to just having it in my lap, looking at it, sitting between the steering wheel. Well, as I get older, I get a little fatter and the steering wheel gets a little closer. The Max 4 is not gonna fit there. Right. So hang it on the steering wheel and play with it. Well, it's like having that computer monitor. I mean, it's a big scan tool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a uh, And, and the, the bigger it is, the easier it is to see. I get that, but uh, you also want some room as well. So is that one, it's got a cord. I actually like the cord better than I do the Bluetooth stuff. It does have the cord. Uh, it it does the same as uh, when you plug in the Max Flex with the uh, Bluetooth, it has to download the firmware. It downloads the firmware on here as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works behind the scenes. I've never... I like the cord because you yeah. don't have to worry about leaving, leaving that dongle in the car because we had to go get one one day and then you don't have to worry about the battery dying on the scan tool when you got it plugged in. I, I, I may be wrong here, so don't quote me on that, but I had a customer lose this one, um, and I think it's like close to $300. And yeah, so that hurts your feelings. But uh, this this one don't come with a Bluetooth, so we ain't gonna worry about that. Uh, I don't let it go back to sleep on me. Uh, let me get blog back in. So, you have register your unit, then you have start demo or uh, the generic OBD mode. You would register the unit, you just wouldn't mm -hmm. manage your subscription. You'd just put the shop information in, serial number, stuff like that. But we'll do the demo just for the sake of it. As you can see, it is touch screen. So even though it's small, you still got the touch screen. Well, it's just like the Maximus 4. Ma Maximus 4, the Max Flex Pro, all of them. We still have the service resets. 
that's where you get your DPF regen, mm -hmm. your immobilizer. That's a big thing as well. You know, you may have to pay that 30 bucks, but you're not going to get a key program right. anywhere around here. No I think way. it's an, like an hour at most of your places. Mm -hmm. Dealerships now up to 150, 155. That's crazy to me, but hey, I get it. Uh, and then the injector code and stuff like that. That's a nice. I like the size of it too. Yep, size of it's a big thing. Uh, and then you have your motorcycle. So it does have the capability to do the motorcycle. That is a pay as you go as well. Um, but you see the, the main ones they got there, Yamaha, Harley Davidson, Honda. Previous sections, that's just gonna be a generic, uh, you know, this is a demo kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You can see that we pull it up. We can see that the way that it does the basically the health report that it shows whatever everything had so that's a big thing you can get the max flick uh, max fix and the code assist on this that's nice so you know even though i say this is a step down for the max flex you have the ability to really turn this thing into a great scanner and this one i think online it, it's around what eight or nine somewhere in there Wow, that's, so, that's good. You know, we don't talk too much about price because it varies mm -hmm. between everything, but I think that's what they got it online for. Uh, let me see if it'll let me go in. When we come to the toolbox over here, that's where we have our the other stuff, just like the, the, the Flex. I know we keep going back to it, but you have your updates, your uh, max battery, so you can use that on here as well. Uh, let's see if we can't go back over here. Oop, I hit the wrong button twice. There we go. And then we'll just do a quick demo. That way we can see. Hit OK. Demo. And we'll do forward. Come up with a diagnosis. We'll do a health report. I always do health report. If you own one of these and you're, and you're going through there and you wonder why we offer three different tiers, basically one of them tells you what all computers are actually talking so that, so that it has it and then the other one you can select what you want sure um, the only problem that i have with selecting what you want uh, you know well i just want to see what the check engine light is i'm gonna go into ecm or the pcm depending on which brand you're working on toyota calls it ecm ford calls it pcm well what if i select the wrong one and i don't see no codes and i'm like okay it's all good mm -hmm. well here this is this tells me enough so Go into it, shows me all the codes that I got. It has the compare results and stuff just like the other one. It's gonna give me the normals. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit enter. Read fault code, vehicle information, read data stream. And the read data stream would be on the generic as well. So that's not something that you're gonna pay for. You're gonna have it straight out of the box, so. So I know it's been a kind of a quick, you know, let me just yeah. show you what all it has. But the main thing is if the, there's a scanner that we sell, the uh, the launch CRP, uh, I think it's pro now. Um, it's around four to five. If you're just gonna need simple data stream and um, code just quick, you know, I'm not gonna be using it sure. every day, all day. That's probably a great option. I sell a bunch of them, but if I'm every day, I'm gonna use this thing four or five times a day, um, I would definitely go ahead and look at this one and, and at least see if that's something you may want. Okay. Uh, so whatever your budget is, guys, that's kind of what they got to fit it. And that's a great option because like, you know, when we had our shop, working on all those forwards that time. I don't think we used anything but forward software for probably like four months, it seemed like, you know. And then it switched to Dodge, so that would have been a good option other than. Yeah, you don't have to you, you don't know. have to pay into the thousands to have a scanner that'll do it, right? Yep. So if you're doing the forward, you do this uh, full subscription, let's just say it is, you know, 16 bucks, you know, well, you're 1300 bucks, you got it all right. good. You're not five, six thousand bucks trying to get a scanner. So there you go. All right, guys. Like always, hopefully y'all learned a little something about some scan tools. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's Friday, finally. Friday. You guys have a great weekend. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great one. 
So yeah.